is, then it's going to be the operating activity. Uh, because the operating activities are going to be kind of like converting the income statement. If it's not, then the question is, are you dealing with the purchase of an, an asset, a long-term asset? And if it is, then it's going to be investing because we're investing in the future. We're investing in equipment. If there's a difference up here that, that doesn't have to do with purchasing or selling an asset, then it's probably financing because the, the whole purpose of it is just to get capital for the running of the business. So in this case, we obviously are, if we're dealing with equipment, the journal entry is to debit equipment and to credit either cash and or uh, a loan. Uh, none of those are income statement accounts. So it shouldn't be in the operating activities. Uh, if we sold the equipment, then we debit cash, we credit the equipment, um, and and uh, we might have a gain or loss. We also have to take off and debit the accumulated depreciation. But so that no, none of that, the main components aren't part of the income statement. In other words, the gain or loss will be, but the major components aren't are not part of the income statement. So that means it's going to be dealing with a purchase or sale of something that we invested in equipment. So we're going to be down here in the investing activities. Now, the other thing that's confusing about this is obviously if we see this difference, this isn't enough information usually to, to give to give us the full story. We're going to see this and go, hmm, it looks like that it, it increased. So I'm going to assume we purchased equipment, but that might not be the whole story. We might have purchased multiple pieces of equipment. We might have purchased some equipment and sold some equipment. Plus, this account is going to be tied to the accumulated depreciation account as well. And we may have purchased and sold equipment that was financed. We might have loans related to it. So the purchase of equipment, because it's a big line item, is often more complex than just one purchase of equipment. So in order to do that in, in a book problem like this, we would go through the, the detail and say, what else did they give us related to the purchase? If we, if we are in, a, in practice, of course, we would just look at the detail of this item in terms of the GL account and say, okay, what's in the GL account? And then we'll look at all the journal entries related to that GL account. We will do that in this problem, but not now. What we're gonna do now is not get into the detail of this because that'll muddy up the waters. What I wanna do is just get to this number first. I wanna find a home for all these numbers get to this number, and then we can go back and try to get to 